Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have something that has never been done before on my channel and I'm really excited to do this for you guys. I really hope that you like these kinds of videos and maybe if you do you can let me know in the comments down below and i will make some in the future so i'm getting ready to go to school but mostly um this is for later on in the day because my boyfriend's tias his aunties are coming over and they're going to be having like a big little celebration the whole family is going to be here so basically i just can't look like crap um so i'm gonna do my face really quickly before i head to school and then that's it. I thought it'd be nice to kind of sit down and talk to you guys on a more personal level and just be real, talk to you about events that are happening in my life and, you know, things that are going on and things that are happening in, in this month. And I don't know. I just kind of thought that it'd be nice to have a little one-on-one -on -one chit chat talk while I get ready. So if you want to watch me get ready or get ready with me, then go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> So really quickly before I start, I don't want to mention any of the products that I'm using in this video, but I do want to talk about what I have on my face right now. For my skin, for my moisturizer, I'm using the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I've had this for like a little over a month and it's amazing. It has hydrated my skin so well. It's like a drink of water. It feels great. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, but the way I see it, it's your skin. You're going to have it for however long you live, so you might as well invest in it. And then under my eyes, I have the Origins Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. I got this, like, I want to say a couple days ago, and I've been using it for four days, not going to lie. So far, I haven't really noticed any results, but if I do, I will let you guys know, because I've heard really good things about this, but obviously I haven't been trying it long enough to find that out for myself. So when I do... I'll let you know okay so now let's dive into the face you guys there are so many things going on in june it's kind of insane it's a little intimidating and by the way let's just talk about we're already in june like we're halfway through the year that's crazy to me time just flew by and before you know it i'm gonna be freaking 50 and <laughs> I, I don't know where time is going, but it's going too fast. I'm getting ready to go to school first and foremost, but later on in the evening, um, my boyfriend's family is coming over and they're just, you know, getting together, gonna have some drinks, gonna eat, you know, stuff like that, all the good stuff. <laughs> so I have to look um, presentable because, you know, society. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to put on too much makeup. I just kind of want to like be subtle but still cute i might wear lashes but i might put them on later on that way i don't go like freaking full beat to school because i really don't care like on a normal day i would not be ready i would not be getting ready to go to school i would just walk out the door and call it a day by the way i'm using my viewfinder right now as a mirror so don't think I'm just like a narcissist and like staring at myself like Connor need it <laughs> as a mirror right now I also don't really have that much time to get ready so if I'm like speeding a little bit you know why this is kind of different for me because usually when I get ready I love like watching YouTube videos or um watching movies i'm more of like a video type of person when i'm getting ready as opposed to like music but i do like the occasional getting ready to music type of vibe but um yeah this is something new for me i haven't done a get ready with me but i've always wanted to because they seem like super convenient to film because like i have to get ready regardless so might as well film it you know A lot of things have been going on this month. Actually, the first of this month, I had a speech competition. I don't know if any of you are following me on Instagram, but if you aren't, I'll leave my handle right here. Hey guys, it's your girl, Liz here. Just stopping by to let you know that I actually have a giveaway going on on my Instagram right now. So if you're interested, go to my Instagram and click on the latest photo that I have posted and you will see all the rules on how to enter my giveaway. I posted on a story that I had 
won third place in a speech competition which is so amazing. I actually, before this, I had never received a trophy in my life. At least I don't think I have. <laughs> so this is kind of a big deal. And like, I really enjoy, I don't enjoy public speaking, but I enjoy writing, which is why I think my speech was so good because it was like captivating and like, I'm good with words. This is not me trying to brag, but I, I know what I'm good at. I'm not good at math, I'm not good at science, I'm not good at history, but I'm good with words. My speech was about closed-mindedness, and I think it really touched a lot of people. It definitely opened my eyes. I spoke on, um, you know, uh, research that I had looked up and just facts, and I also included some personal experiences and a story that is very close and it's just a sensitive topic to me really um it's about my mom we went through a couple issues um in the past not too long ago actually but um thankfully they're resolved now but i'm thinking of you know doing a story time or doing a series where i tell you guys about that whole thing so i don't want to talk too much about it now but it was a really great speech it was very personal to me, so I think it, it opened a lot of eyes and definitely opened my eyes. There are a ton of good movies coming out this month, you guys. A ton. Like Adrift, we saw that one a couple days ago. It was a good movie. It's based on a true story. It has Shane Lee Woodley in it. She did really good. It's not like amazing or a must-see, but it was good. And then there's Ocean's 8. I'm so excited to see Sandra Bullock, to see Rihanna, to see Mindy. Who else? I'm just, I'm just excited. Oh, also, what other movies? Jurassic World 2 is coming out. If you're a Jurassic, um, Jurassic World fan. Ooh, The Incredibles. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see The Incredibles. My boyfriend and I actually just rewatched the first one in preparation for um, the second one that's coming out. I'm so freaking excited because we were rewatching it and there's so many like funny moments and just like, it's just like a lot of like funny things that you didn't catch when you were a kid. And now that I'm older, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe they did that. Or like, that was so funny. That was so creative. And it just got me like realizing like that was such a good movie. So like, I'm really hoping that they bring that same feel to the second movie. They don't like change much. I really don't know why it took them freaking years to create the second movie. But I'm just so happy that it's happening. So that's another cool thing that we're gonna go do another thing that's happening this month is TanaCon I don't know if you guys have heard um, that Tana Mojo Tana Mongoose <laughs> is hosting her own convention which is freaking awesome she had like a little well she made a whole video about her experience at VidCon and just blew up and so um she was saying that she's gonna make her own convention and she was gonna make it free and have all like really good influencers which is awesome and then she actually came through and she did it and um I was thinking about going and I was like mm, I want to go like I could go sounds great but then bitch <laughs> I found out that Shane was going and I knew it when she announced that she was going to be having special guests. I was like, who else is more special than Shane Dawson? Like, he has to be one of her special guests. So I was like, immediately, I needed to find out who I was going with, if I could go, and all that jazz. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's on the 22nd. Um, my boyfriend and I are going together, and... I'm really excited. There's so many good creators that are going. Um, Tana's going, obviously. Zane, Toddy, Scotty, um, Kristen, Shane. Who else? So many other people are going. The thought of being in the same room as my favorite creator 
is just so amazing to me like I know the chances of me meeting him are slim even though like everyone who gets like the VIP pass supposedly you know is going to get the chance to meet their favorite creator I don't know I'm a little skeptical about that because it is you know the first year that she's doing this so I don't expect everything to be like in order or orderly and organized so I don't know I'm not going to get my hopes up but just the thought and the chance that I will get to meet my favorite creator and some of my other favorite creators it's just so inspiring <laughs> and like I just really want to go I'm so excited and like I want to write him like a little letter and I don't know I'm just so excited I'm just like fangirling like with my fan brush <laughs> yeah so I'm really excited about that if any of you guys are going let me know because that'd be so awesome not to do a meeting grade or anything but like if you guys are going um it'd be cool to see some of you so that's cool i can't believe i'm already almost done with my makeup david and liza's breakup video shook the internet it shook me it shook my heart it shook my whole world i'm so sad for them um but i hope uh nothing but the best for both of them they're both so like genuine and sweet and from what you can see and, and tell from what they post, they they just look like really good people and they look like a really good couple together. And I, I really can't imagine either of them with anyone else. But in the case that that does happen, I think that they handled their relationship so maturely. And whatever is going wrong, I know that I don't freaking know Liza personally and she'll never see this, but whatever is going on in Liza's life that is like, she needs to focus on herself and like she needs to put her health first and everything like i just think that she deserves everything and that she should take all the time that she needs and a lot of people were saying it just goes to show that um even the happiest people and the people who are like the most successful they still struggle with you know issues and personal issues depression and anxiety and no one is no one is safe okay from from depression so if you think that you are dealing with that then you need to focus on yourself and your health first um because that's always that should always be your number one priority i hope that they find their way back together because they're so perfect but if they don't that's just how life works sometimes you know Speaking of like depression and stuff, I'm actually going to be participating in a potential play with one of my old um, theater directors. He actually got in contact with me and two other students, um, former students of his and good friends of mine. And we're gonna be working on a play, which is super exciting because I get to get in touch with that side, that theater side of myself again. And basically, from what I know, we haven't, like, met yet, but from what I have been told, he wants to, like, write a play that deals with suicide awareness and all that serious stuff. Um, but I think it's amazing because he was talking about how there is such a, let me, I don't, let me quote him because... I don't want to say the wrong thing. He said, the premise of this is recent data showing a recent increase in suicide among teenage girls. And another article states that Latina teens rank highest in the U.S. in suicide attempts. Heavy, I know, but relevant and a topic I'm personally passionate about, suicide prevention. So I think that that's amazing that he wants to do something like that. I don't know how many people it's going to reach or where this show is even going to go up, but... I think it's amazing that it's going to start a conversation and suicide is a big topic um, and it's very important. It's not discussed a lot in this society and that's why I think it happens a lot because so many people don't understand it and they don't understand how to deal with it and they don't understand that, that there's hope and that there's more than just right now. There's more than just the present there's the future and there's more opportunities for you. There's a better life waiting for you if you just keep pushing through the one you're living right now. And I think that even if it reaches one person, if it helps one person who needs to hear it or 
someone who knows someone that needs to hear it and they can pass that information on to them. I think that's amazing. And I've always been someone, um, I'm going to spray my face because I kind of have to get out the door already, but <clears throat> I've always been someone who is always looking to help others. I always want to help other people because I grew up not in a very happy home and I didn't get to talk through my feelings, with my family, with anyone, really, I would not really be vocal about those things. And I think that if I had someone that went through the same things as me and could share and shed a little bit of light on that topic and that it's going to be okay, I think that I would have been a little bit more happier and a little bit more excited about, you know, my childhood and my future. But I didn't. So if I could be that for someone, then it'll all be worth it. So I know that it's going to take a lot of time and work. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated because we haven't had any rehearsals or anything like that yet. Um, but yeah, I that's going on. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. So I'm basically ready. I just need to do my lips. Let me do my lips really quick so I don't look like a ghost and scare you guys. And I'll be right back to say goodbye to you. I'm going to be so basic and do the same lip combo I literally always do. It's just a nude. And then I'm going to top it off with some Fenty. Alright, well that completes this chit chat get ready with me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you took something from this. Or that you got to know me a little bit better. And you got to know what the heck is going on in my crazy life right now. I am about to finish school. I'm veering the end. You guys pray for me. I have like one more week of finals and I'm done and I'm out for summer and I will have fresh new content to bring to the YouTube table. So let me know any ideas you have to glow, anything you want to see from me. I'm so excited to do some stuff, you guys. Just, just to do some crazy stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single Wednesday. Also, make sure to hit that little notification bell to be notified every single time I upload because YouTube has changed like its chronological order and everything is out of whack, okay? So um, you might not even see this video until a couple days later, which is why you need to hit that bell so you can be notified right when it posts and you won't ever miss an upload. As always, I want to thank you guys for staying tuned and being supportive and awesome. I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye!